Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War. We are here to talk Lucha Underground, and holy shit snacks, what an episode it was this week. I'm Mad Mike, y'all know who I am. With me is a fucking dickhead that got to see that Jeremiah Cranville Mortis match live. He is Sorgatron, the motherfucker. Hi. That was the single match that I could not wait to get around to for you to see because that was what I was waiting for for the reaction to that match that I saw. Also, I was wondering what happened, you know, up there uh, above when when they went up there and and they fought and I really couldn't see it from my really plush uh, next to the ring seats, um, um, just up the way from Ron Funches, Mike. Uh, Sorg. You fucking bastard! And also for you later in the show, I have, uh, I have, I have um, kept my word, and I have watched Boone the Bounty Hunter, and I, I may actually own two copies of it now. Uh, so that's how dedicated I am to supporting um, John, Johnny Mundo in his uh, movie endeavors. Uh, so I like how we're both holding our copies of Boone the Bounty. Oh, you got yours too? Yeah, there you go. There's two less I copies. Got, I got mine. Two less copies that he has to buy back from Walmart now. This is true. Uh, it's it's a phenomenal movie. It is, we'll it we'll is get fun into movie. it after. I, I I think everybody should. Um, yes. But we'll get into that after the uh, typical Lucha Underground talk because even having oh. watched having watched this show in person, this episode in person in, partic- in particular, plus everything else that's happening, there were bombs dropped on this one in the ring, oh, out of yeah. the ring. Just, just blew everything else out of the water uh, when it comes to 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 Lucha Underground and wrestling Although this week sword, and the midweek. Sword, in, in our current climate, can we not say there are bombs dropped? Because that just that's a trigger warning. I don't watch <laughs> the news, so I have no idea how close that's I good, am. That's a to that's a great idea. How close I am to the Doomsday Clock? I need to watch Watchmen. <laughs> I read Watchmen again. It's relatable. <laughs> Uh, all right, so Sorg, we're going to start this off the way we do every week. ¿Cuál es tu palabra para Lucha Underground? I, wow, so many come to my mind. Um, owie. <laughs> I will accept that as a word, Sorg. Just Trump. even in my head, Two instances apply that in different matches involving about five people. Sorg, that word can be applied to eight different instances in one match. <laughs> it is true. This is true. Uh, all right. Um, my word for this week, and I'm going to uh, speak in Espanol. Mi palabra es invierno. Invierno means winter. Yeah, Mr. Because Winter. Sorg, Sorg, hashtag winter is coming. Uh, oh, I hope that's what they wanted to happen. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure that was an intent. I'm sure that was absolutely an intent. But hot diggity daffodils, winter is coming. Oh, so and we also we already have a fire breathing dragon on that show. We already have a white walker. His name is Matanza. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on, Sorg. <laughs> we already have the mother of dragons, Cobra oh. Moon. Hello, it's so, all right there. So much, so so much. I think his internet's getting skippy. <laughs> Son of Havoc knows nothing, Sorg. Oh jeez. Oh um, <laughs> no, good good stuff. Uh I I I I think you just covered the show basically. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh my God. Sorg. The show. All right, Sorg. Qual is too bueno. I mean, there's going to be a lot of buenos, let's be honest. There's going to be a lot of buenos, but what's yours? Oh, reliving the memories and realizing that I'm completely wrong in my memory box, and I completely thought the the Get to the Gods uh, uh, medal uh, w- match was actually for the trios championship. So my lead up in my head has been really weird coming up to this match. You know, I'm not good with memories of wrestling shows I've seen a year and a half ago, and which means that this whole show was still new to me. <laughs> 
I can't wait until we're done with the matches that you've seen live, and you're just as lost as I am afterwards. You know, honestly, I... Again, it's that situation we talked about I haven't seen yet. And I'm kind of wondering what that is. So there's still something that you haven't seen yet. Yeah, and I can't remember what the match was. Again, I just remember what happened outside the ring for the most part. But I had to have seen most of what I've seen by now. Probably. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll let you know when I mean, it's got to be next well, week. Well, I mean, you imagine. didn't see the Ray and Mundo match, right? I did. No. No. No, I didn't. Okay. Because so, I, I mean, saw. Yeah, I, w- I would imagine that it's probably. And there's also somebody yet to debut. Not even a debut. There's somebody. Uh, there's somebody coming. And I don't know. Maybe it's something they cut out. But it very easily could have been. But um, I don't know. There, there, there's more interesting stuff. The height of it has happened from the taping, as uh, far as I'm concerned. But yeah. I forgot that Pentagon broke everybody's arm. Oh. I, I forgot whose arm he did and oh. uh, arms. And uh, it's been really interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Hashtag poor Brenda. Poor Brenda. Poor Hashtag Brenda. Poor Brenda. Man, acting in in the utmost. Um, are we still? I mean, I mean, the, the, there's just so much. I, and you know what? The true good of this is. So I, I think you've seen the. And he was mentioned, I think, last episode. Ron Funch is in, is in the front row by by the entrance, right? Oh yeah. And I had a chat with Ron in the VIP the right before. Uh, before the before the show started, actually, and uh, he he had uh, talked about it. he'd been there a couple of times, and Pentagon Dark was his absolute favorite, and he hadn't he had yet to see Pentagon Dark, <laughs> and Pentagon came out for that match that we saw uh, this week, and uh-huh. I was like, Ron got his Pentagon, Ron got his Pentagon. So I mean, you know, that was kind of a nice, th- that was kind of a cool thing to see see kind of come together. You know, that was just telling me like, yeah. I, I haven't seen Pentagon Dark yet. He hasn't been here any time. He's been here, and boom, there he is. And I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, Pentagon, nicest dude. Mm-hmm. He's because he was, he was like one of the only people I really got to interact with last year at San Diego. Super nice dude. Like I could only speak to him through a translator, but he just seemed like a really fun guy. <laughs> But all right, so we'll get to my my bueno. Um, holy shit, Katrina's mom! What? I watch the show. I watch the show. What? I'm loving everything. I'm like yelling at matches I've seen before, and then we drop that, and I think I yelled at my TV. I sure <laughs> what? Um, because I I watch this as I as I have breakfast on Thursday mornings because that's when it comes through iTunes, and uh, wow, wow! I don't know if you saw the anime gif, the O oh snap anime gif that I sent uh to Lucha Underground today. <laughs> I did not see that no, because that's how I felt. That's how I felt. It, it was just the the I didn't I you didn't expect something like that happening, right? And... I I was thinking sisters. I was thinking sisters like a Molina Katana situation, but nope, it's Queen Sadell and Katana. That's what we're going with. Mm, mm. That is what we're going with. By the way, I do have to share, and I, I don't have a, a computer up to show you guys other than, than in camera, but I was asked by you to to save this image for the next time Chris Joseph is on, and here's the image for you guys. I, I don't know if you got – okay, it's, you, you got the most idea of it. But uh, from a Dante Oblivion out there, remember when wrestling used to have amazing dramatic storylines and the talent to pull them off? Lucha Underground remembers. And it's just Lucha it's just this remembers. smucker's picture with uh, with uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Christa Joseph's, Christa face. Joseph's face pasted on, which is amazing. <laughs> which it's, is it's just, fantastic. Which like, is just honestly. Go ahead. Honestly, that should just be the graphic for every episode of this we do. Yeah. Oh yeah. It should it should just be the standard graphic that we put out there. I'm just retweeting it again. Cool. Yeah, just <laughs> right all now. the time. Just right now. Uh, <laughs> this, all right. Yes. Uh, God, there, there's so much good we still have yet to talk about. But um, not every show is perfect. Not even this one. 
probably. Mm. Sorg? Sorg? No, don't, don't, don't give it to me. I don't know. Nope. I don't Sorg, even you know. gotta go first. What is Qualis this? Qualis du Malo. I still hate, and I know I'm supposed to, but I hate the agent for the Worldwide Underground. Okay. No, I'm, I was I was actually kind of with you on that. That's the most, like, I really don't need this guy on this show. It's, well, it's, it's it just, seems like he's it seems like he's the Yoko. Yeah, yeah, I can it's, see that. Because I can see this ending really badly for Johnny. Like, I could see Benjamin Cook kind of driving a wedge between him and the Worldwide Underground, and they don't come out to help him against Ray. I could see that happening. I can see that. I could absolutely see that. Because I mean, they're already talking. De- he's already talking down to all of them, and he's only beyond like two weeks. Like, it seems like a very Yoko Ono thing going on. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure if I like it, but I think it's although although that segment with <laughs> hey, this guy's got a heart of gold, a heart of gold. Don't worry, no more sick kids. A heart of gold. <laughs> like, oh my god. That's horrible. That is absolutely horrible. Hilarious. And that, and that is what saved that segment for me. <laughs> to be quite oh yeah, honest. no, absolutely. Like and Johnny Mundo saying, "Oh yeah, good. I don't need to get sick before my big match." Like, <laughs> like you colossal asshole. It's so good. So so good. Oh god. All right. Uh, if I had to think about Malo this week. It's it's just gonna be Brenda getting her arm broken. <laughs> poor Brenda. She poor didn't ask poor for this. Brenda. She didn't ask for this. Nope. That could have been that could have been her sweet handy arm. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know, Sorg. <laughs> what? You don't know. You don't know. She's got one you don't more. Know. She's got one more. I don't more. know. I don't know if she's a lefty or a righty. I'm not that familiar. But I. I I feel like this is going to put a serious dent in Famous B Worldwide. See, see what I did there? Mm-hmm. Fam- mm-hmm. Famous B Worldwide? I see where you're at. I see where yeah, you're at. Yeah. It, it, it's kind of the same thing. It's kind of the same thing. I, I wonder who did it first. Lucha <clears throat> did. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. A l- little bit of a cough. But yeah. Um, all right. But Sorg, uh, if you could... Wallace Dukambia, what would you change about this week's show? And then we'll get into all the rest of the awesome that happened. What would I change? Jeez. Um, that we would have two um, Jeremiah versus Mil Muertes matches? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> can we? I mean, that there are there were more people's arms to be broken that I wouldn't expect? Can he just, you know... I, I I yeah, dude, it was it was great. I I can't. It left me not even wanting more, other than more of what do you mean, mother? Um, but as far as the wrestling goes, it was it was tremendous. Um, even even I forgot how how creepy the six man tag match got. <laughs> Mike, hey, you know, Mike, what, we do yeah. everything together. We do everything together, Sorg. Everything. And, and I want to remind you, this was my first introduction to those three. <laughs> it's like first or second That's match. Amazing. This match happens, and I'm like, I don't know what the hell is going on. But I, and I'm like, and I'm watching this. I'm like, is that Paul London? Wait, <laughs> is that Paul London? Wait, I, I mean, I. I last time I saw Paul London, he was wearing like a space jumpsuit, and we were touring Duquesne University, right? And I was like, is that Paul London? It was so weird to me, not to mention the guys with him, and then that <laughs> sequence, and that's where and we talked about that's where my 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 fascination with uh, Taya started. Yeah. Okay. I could I could see I could absolutely see your entire thought process now. 
There was a lot that happened during what there was a lot happening in my head during all the matches we saw on this week's Lucha Underground that 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 has that has has motivated my wrestling watching for the last 18 months. (laughs) Wow, that was your that was your introduction to the Rabbit Tribe. That was my introduction to the Rabbit Tribe. That was my introduction to Jeremiah Crane was that match that he was even in Lucha Underground. You know, and you know, and they mentioned this in a tweet earlier today. I was like, you know, I go to Lucha Underground. I'm in freaking L.A., right? I, you know, hanging with Alex out there from Occupy Pro Wrestling, and uh, you know, this this whole this whole thing is just blowing my mind. And then I'm watching, and I'm like, Paul London, I know that guy. You, like I've done work with him, right? Uh, um, Sammy Callahan, I know that guy. I've done I've done a bunch of shows with him, and I've worn his 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 uh, his uh, coat thing, right? That that. Joe Dabrowski was holding hostage for a while. It was just a weird, like, mashup of stuff, you know. Hey, there's Matt Stryker that flipped me off that one time uh, when I told him not to mess with the mic because it's touchy. You know, it's it just like a weird mashing of things happening, and it's a TV taping in L.A. Okay, I, I can absolutely see where – wow. So, Ooh, okay, so then. I got well, to – Wait relive... was that your first introduction to Taya too? Uh, no, no, no. Before? I had seen her a little bit because I don't think I had, I had dived entirely into things. And I saw a little bit of season two, like when she was introduced and how she was like the uh, 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 mini me, uh, John Morrison at the time more so. Right. And, okay. and, and so well, you hadn't like seen her match with cage or anything. No, right? I don't think I, I, I okay. almost okay. definitely did not see her in cage yet. Um, okay. so, and I think that was it. Like, uh, like what we talked about with her, when we kind of went into the, like my whole thought process on that was like, Oh, seeing her with a Paul London and with just guys. And, and you don't even think about that. She's a woman like versus Eva Lee or, or anybody else that's usually in there for these matches. Right. Or right. any of the, the tribe that took on a, uh, uh, Pentagon. Right. Um, yeah. she just fits and you don't even think about her being in a mixed gender match. And, okay. you know, and she's not less womanly for it, you know. So it, it, there was so I got to relive like my biggest thoughts from that show, from this show, this episode <laughs> was fantastic. monumental and what I was waiting for. And I love that all those things that 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 came together were on the same episode. So that was really cool for me. Oh, geez. All right. Um, If I had to make a change this week. Oh, I don't. Oh man, that's that's really tough. I, cause I loved this week's episode. And all right, if I had to make a change, it would probably just be. Like I, I don't think we need the um, the Benjamin Cook stuff. Like I, I, I would have just, maybe just have Johnny address him instead of Benjamin Cook doing that. Because like losing to the rabbit tribe, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. But I love that that happened because I definitely wasn't expecting it. I don't know about you, Sorg. Nope, nope, nope. And also think, Salazar could be a gift to the gods. Sal- oh, I think I said the same thing, the wrong thing on Twitter. Yes, Saltador. I, I thought it was an autocorrect thing. If it, it, no, that just in my head. Um, okay. He could very well be Gift of the Gods champion before the season's over. That would be amazing. That just would like, be absolutely Let's just amazing. give it the checkerboard. It's going to be back. really difficult because you actually skinned him and put him on the wall that I can see. But Yeah, it's over there. It's over there. You can see a little bit. No, you can't see any over there. It, it's a whole It's a whole checker pattern. It looks like he skinned Saltador. Yes. But, um, yeah, like, I don't know. This was, this, was a really, this was a really good episode of Lucha Underground. It was a really good episode. So, let, let's – can we – can we what is the order sorg what is the fucking order oh i thought you're gonna say order of the shows no is this a is this a lucha illuminati is that where we're at with this is it a lucha court of owls sorg are we going to find out that everyone we thought was dead is really alive oh fuck so I don't are think we, we've are gone, we going there? I don't think we've gone that deep, but um, yeah. Um, it wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't it be great though if it, it did? If we do just like when we when we finally end uh, a Lucha Underground, 
it's just going to turn into that thing where, you know, everybody that's dead, you have to fight again, much like, you know, the end stages of Mega Man. Or like if you beat X-Men, the arcade game, like all of the previous bosses show up at the same time. Yeah. Before you fight Magneto. Yeah. Ah, uh, Sorg. Sorg, we're, we're setting up Mil Muertes versus Cage. <laughs> God versus Death? <laughs> I haven't been so happy. For, for You know what? I'm more excited for a showdown involving a gauntlet here than I am for the one in Marvel right now. And I Me love Me too. I and I've love... seen clips of that one, and a motherfucker throws a moon in that one. And I love Marvel movies, <laughs> and I think I might be more excited for this one. And plus, we're getting this one sooner. We're getting this one way sooner. This is true, too. Like, within two months sooner. Mm, wait, what? Yes. It's over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, God. I. Uh, th- this is going to be great. <laughs> Sorg. Uh, there, there's just so much good with this. Like, all right. So, sorry, we have our final four. Okay. Oh, I didn't even wrap my head around Pentagon. This one. Pentagon versus Mill. Fuck. Phoenix versus Puma. Fuck. Sorg, very important question before we go. Before we go to Boone. Who you got? Who you got, Sorg? Oh, I'm Sorg? sorry. I'm sorry. I was reading the liner notes of Boone because I can't even Sorg? fathom that question. Um, who you got? Who do I, I have got? a theory. I, I have think, a theory. I, you know what? I, part of me is looking and I'm just like, man. I, uh, I think it ends up Puma and Pentagon. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I have I my cough back. button on. You had your cough button on, which is yes. an interesting um, visual. So you think Puma and Pentagon? I think it's Puma and Pentagon. I think... I I think so, too. Right. But I have a different... I. What's your spin eye out, and I'll give you mine. Well, I don't know about how they get there, but I think that, that as far as stories go... Um, <laughs> it's not, I don't want to get into the head of Krista Joseph, but it's scary, scary place to come up with this shit but, um, uh, that we've seen. But, uh, you know, we've had, because I think we've partially forgotten about how much the Vampiro influence says, no, nah, you should take yep. on, you should take on Mill, not Pentagon, right? And look at him being angled and maybe aimed at Pentagon by the end of this. Also, I don't think we should see, also interesting, before I get to that, that we have ended up with four people that were instrumental in early days of Lucha Underground which I wondered if we would have done that. Um, I think Mills and Puma yet again for this. Um, I don't want to see that again. Not that I, I not that I don't want to see that, but <laughs> I, I know what you mean. I, I mean, there's mean. no combination I don't like here, but I, I just kind of the Puma headlong into Pentagon, the Vampiro factor, what happens, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's where I'm going with this too. Like, former uh, student of Vampiro versus current question mark student of Vampiro. Plus, we have the Mills factor. If this revelation at the end of the show means he's going to be going after Cage, we kind of got to clear him off the deck. Well, I mean, you can still have whoever wins the quick. Whoever wins the Quay Cup, do you think they're winning the Lucha Underground Championship? Mm, I think whoever wins the Quayto Cup has the Lucha Champion at um, Ultima Lucha. Yes. Right. But, but see, and and this is where I'm torn because by all accounts, it seems like Prince Puma might not be coming back to Lucha Underground. But it seems like the story is set up where we're getting Prince Puma versus Rey at Ultima Lucha for the title. Mm-hmm. That's why I think we might be going 
Pentagon Dark versus Johnny Mundo. And Pentagon goes on a spree of breaking the arms of everyone in the worldwide underground before Ultima Lucha. Ooh. Ooh. Uh huh. That could be interesting. It's it's kind of like a way cooler version of Randy Orton going up against the Straight Edge Society. Okay. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? Like, like taking out all of the underlings. Yeah, yeah. Because I would actually, because Pentagon and Mundo, I think, have so different of styles, and they've never really touched. That's why I'd almost like to see that more. And maybe you could have, like, Puma cost Ray the match. I like that. I do like that. Like, that, I, I think that's kind of what I want to see. Like, I want to see Pentagon versus uh, Puma in the finals. Pentagon wins. And then we get Puma, like, like Ray can say, hey, man, don't worry about it, like, after the match. And Puma gets so pissed off that he costs Ray the title. Because those matches are happening in the same night, from what I'm to understand. The finals of the Cueto Cup and the... Um, and the Mundo versus Ray match. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm thinking. Okay. I can see that. Either way. All right. Either way, yes. Lucha's pretty much number one for oh, everything. Oh, Lucha's week, number so. one with a fucking bullet. Like, it's not even a question this week. I still want to know what the order is. Like, and apparently we have not been introduced to the man in the limo. Because they still nope. called him the man in the limo. I like how they're just offhand calling him man in the limo. It's just yeah. like, hmm, okay. Just, you know, we're. St I'm still want to call him Dr. Claw. I still want to call him that. But um, also, Agent Winter is, all, is a comedian known as Godfrey. Yes. A yes. very well-known uh, comedian. Very funny comedian. I, I, I knew he looked familiar, and thankfully Twitter was able to tell me immediately who he was. <laughs> immediately all right so sorg you saw this i did i did what did you think of boone the bounty hunter and how right was i of my two copies so we ended up we went on our boon hunt and we despite walmart app saying there were nine copies in the store we could not find them in like in electronics and then went to order it and uh and ended up on back order and we we picked it up at the, at the store today on the ship to store so i'm like okay we gotta help him get one last copy that he has to buy back from walmart um and i don't mind it and i, I don't mind it he, he put his house on the line for this thing and uh you know support support pro wrestling support pro, pro, pro wrestlers and independent performers like uh mr mr uh hennigan here um and and i actually ended up watching the one on itunes i i kind of wanted to watch that one more anyways because it would have been in hd uh, so, got to see all the abs, right, Mike? Um, yes, all of them, <laughs> all eight of them. So it, it's it's um, I mean, I I my 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 expectations were pretty much set because I did listen to um um Johnny's uh, uh, uh conversation about it with Cole Cabana on his podcast, and so I knew I knew what I was getting into, and it's exactly what I thought it was going to be from from that conversation. Uh, it, it's it's. It's cheesy. There's one-liners, and I, I swear we we watched it for about forty-five minutes before uh, uh, he drops his one one-liner and Missy cracks up, and we both just crack up, and you know watching this thing, right? And you know some are just like, ugh, you know, you kind of groan at some of them. But, of course, but, absolutely. But some, it, it, but that's the point, right? And he talked about they just like crammed as many one-liners as they could into this thing, and uh, it, and it was it was it was a lot of fun. Also, forgot that Quentin Rampage Jackson is in this, the guy from the A Team. <laughs> yep. Uh, Lorenzo Lamas is in it. I mean, if you're if you're picking a part story, don't don't watch this. Because I'm still not entirely sure what happened with Lorenzo Lamas in this in this town, uh, with his with his lady friend who are very much not Mexican. Um, oh yeah, no, definitely not. In this thing, and it's not. I I don't think it was really explained what's happening with that, other than they well, got. Well, it was basically like a shanty town that he ran. 
Right, right. And he got they got caught up in shit and you know, with the with the the drug dealer uh guy who is is, is he the guy from Kindergarten Cop? Was he the bad guy in Kindergarten Cop? Like the head drug dealer guy? I feel I don't I don't I, and IMDB so. would I, I might be hold on, not and IMDB would solve this, I know, but um but I'm gonna check right now. And again, Jonathan Lipnicki, the little kid from Jerry Maguire, is in this as as, <laughs> as an absolute asshole that gets tossed around. Uh, a, a ha- bunch. Hashtag champagne hot tub sword. Hashtag champagne. <laughs> so wasteful. This isn't real water. Um, the fact that they're bounty hunters and they seem to always bust um, stars. There's huh? uh, a little spoilery on little little things here. But, of course, Kevin Sorbo, everybody knows, is kind of the big thing at the beginning. But then he goes through, like, there's a thing where they arrest Chavo Guerrero. There's a, it is him him trying to um, um, arrest. Sorg? Hmm. Sorg? That is an amazing call. He was the villain, the villain in Kindergarten Cop. Well, you don't know how many times I watched Kindergarten Cop growing up, man. <laughs> hey, that's, that, I, I give you credit for that. That's an amazing call. Because this guy has a lot of IMDb credits. Really? And he's always that shitty bad guy, right? Basically, yeah. He was also in There's Something About Mary. Oh, wow. Something About Mary. Okay. I I haven't seen that forever. So I don't know if that really holds up. (laughs) But it's it's, it's, uh, um, also um, um, Lady, uh, Bad Lady. Again, are there any names in this? Um, Is she part of the tribe? The Copa tribe in um in uh Luke oh Underground. no I don't I don't believe so I don't okay. think there are any re- I don't think there are any wrestlers in this really I got a kick out of when they were doing the intro to uh the the show that Mark Burnett was a producer on it who was the producer uh-huh. for Lucha Underground and a bunch of really well known like pretty much reality all, TV all shows, the yeah. big reality TV like Amazing Race it was uh, 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 Apprentice you know all the stuff that um that our friend. Uh, that we had on here has been a part of, right? Uh, for the mm-hmm. most part. Um, so, I, I, like I said, there was a lot of fun little stuff like that, and uh, it, it was it was a fun watch all around. Yeah, uh, Sorg, I have I have a question on the iTunes version. Did you get the outtakes? Oh, on the the um with the credits during the credits. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, because okay. that was basically how they did the. That's basically how they did the acting credits. Yeah. I, I love the outtakes. I, I love them. Well, so the, much. Think, look at it this way. I mean, again, this is a you know, this is uh, you know, a movie to the show off John, Johnny Morrison, whatever you want to call him, Hennigan uh, Mundo, uh, 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 flipping a lot. It, it's basically like parkour diehard. It is. It is. No, I, no. So I attribute something like this to a Jackie Chan film. Like Rumble in the Bronx wasn't the greatest story. But you watch Rumble in the Bronx to see Jackie Chan fight things. I, yeah, that, it's that's really. A, that's a good I mean, movies like that, movies like this are like porn. Uh, to some more than others, um, especially with Johnny's abs. Uh, but uh, mm-hmm. what, what? What? Come on! You like the 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 reason is to show him being a badass and fighting things and doing flippy things. The story is almost secondary. Not to say, not that I'm trying to bash it. I'm just saying, like you the know, story the movie wasn't terrible. No, it was gr- it was great. It was exactly the kind of movie that you need in this day and age. So um, check it out. Support you know a lucha underground guy who's uh, trying to make his his kind of movie move, I guess, and uh, and 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 pick up a copy. It's like ten bucks at Walmart, fifteen bucks if you want the digital download on iTunes, and I'm sure um that's comparable prices i believe when i saw it on amazon for digital and uh dvd and everywhere else um it, it's 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 pretty amazing she's just look at the list at the top sorg would you like to see a boon too i would love to see a boon too they allude too. to a boon too <laughs> they do <laughs> I, I, love I want you know who you know what i want sorg i want a competing bounty hunter oh yeah I want a competing bounty hunter competing with Boone, and they're both trying to bust the same perk. You know, if he if he wasn't injured, I I would say throw PJ Black as the second bounty hunter. I was gonna say Jack Evans. <laughs> Jack, Jack Evans. Evans. <laughs> like they're a team or something, right? Yeah. I mean, 
Man, who else like, would you do? Honestly, I just want more of the Worldwide Underground doing things. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're like the kind of the Miz and the Marine. Was there a new Marine out or something? Yeah. There was. The one with, the one with Summer Rae and Naomi and, I don't know, there are a lot of people in it. But, but yeah, because I was looking no, for... No, that was Summer Rae with... With Be- Naomi and because I was looking for this and there was like all kinds of special edition like Marines at Walmart and I'm just like is there another one I haven't and I literally I have not watched any of the Miz ones I just haven't I just haven't gotten to them right Neither um, have I. um I now my you know obviously I got the digital digital version so I could watch HD so no no Blu-ray no Blu-ray version of this yeah but you don't so. you don't really need it yeah yeah no, it's okay you don't really need it it's okay it's, it was. It was. It's such a fun movie. It's not Transformers, so we didn't even talk about Jack Evans having a whiteboard. <laughs> See, and again, we. T- I talked about this before, didn't I? About no. how I thought when he wasn't able to talk, I forgot all about the. Oh whiteboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. that it was magic related, and not that uh-huh. his jaw was wired shut for real. Yeah, but. Jack Evans had a whiteboard and was just changing what it said throughout the match. It was it was, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. Good I'm stuff. still waiting for a response to figure out what that Rebus was when he came out. It definitely looked like he said that the believers were bowling some hose or something or mm. pin some hose. I remember I didn't get a look at a lot of them when I was there because it, mm-hmm. I was just never at a good angle for it. So, yeah. Despite being right. right right behind him, I just he would you know he he would show it up to the thing and it'd be down and it's just like all yeah. right, you got his camera. Well, <laughs> sorry, there was a part where he wrote, "London is falling down, falling down, falling down." Right before he pushed Paul London off the top rope, <laughs> it was the best thing. It was the best thing in the world because, like, he, you could see him scribbling down something real quick. Then Paul London was looking to do a top rope move. He pushed them. They hopped right off and held that whiteboard right in the face and said, London is falling down, falling down, falling down. Uh, it was so good. Uh, I love you, Lucha Underground. I, I, love, I love you, Lucha Underground. Please, please. I want a season four. All right. Sorg, where can the good people of the year and find you? Sorgatron on the Twitter and the Instagram, SorgatronMedia.com for all the podcasting goodness. All right. You can find me at MadMike4883 on the Twitter machine. You can also find me at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet Lucha Underground sometime on Wednesday evening. And uh, you can follow along with my crazy reactions when I make up words and and, uh, use GIFs to describe what I'm watching because words have failed me at some points during Lucha Underground. I have one last thought. How is this better than every WWE film? It's not better than every one of them. I can give you three that I like better. That means you're going to give me 12. Nope. No. Uh, I'm going to give you 12 rounds. The first I one? Like 12, I like 12 rounds better, yeah. With Hogan. With, or with, with Cena. Yeah. Uh, the Marine 1 with Cena I like better. And Cena Evil 2. Cena Evil 2 is fucking good. I think I still haven't watched that one yet. Oh, Sorg. That, Sorg, that's your next assignment. Hmm. The, Zeno Evil 2, that's, that's the one done by the Sasuke sisters. Yeah, the, the other Sasuke sisters one with uh, uh, Dean Kane and Big Show actually was really good too. So, But they're different yeah. being the movies. Like, like did nobody goes full camp in WWE films. And I think that's um, the problem. I don't know. Dolph Ziggler kind of did in that one movie he did. Mm, A little bit. The one that should have been sudden death in the arena? Yep. Yeah. And I don't know it just that. wasn't. I don't know. All right, yeah. Mike. Thank all you right. so much. We will catch you all next time to talk about more Lucha Underground speculation on the Mid We.